What's up, FE Clan? Today we're going to be unboxing the Splatterball SRB 375M. A lot of you requested me to unbox this and to purchase this and do a review on it, so that's exactly what I did. It just came in the other day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing of it, show you what it comes with, what it looks like. I'm going to do a size comparison. And with other gel blasters that I own, like my Desert Eagle pistol, the Surge gel blaster, the AKM 47, and also we're going to compare it to the SRB 400, uh, just so you can see the size difference. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's open this bad boy up and see what is inside this box. Wow, that's a little bit a uh, little bit bigger than I actually expected. So right off the bat, it looks pretty much the same as any other Splatterball packaging. Comes with the instructions. It comes with a uh, charging cable. It comes with a pair of goggles to protect your eyes. Super important. And it looks like it comes with, we got 500, we got 1,000, we got 2,000 uh, splatter ball water beads there, or Orbeez, whatever you want to call them. You get 2,000 of those in the package. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the SRB375M out and let's take a look at it. So right here, it's, it's a really... Uh, really big pistol. Right off the bat, you can tell that this is fully automatic. Um, on the other guns, I'll show you right now actually, on the, just for a size comparison right off the bat, this is the SRB400 right here guys. SRB400 and it has the uh, magazine right there and the battery goes in right here. It actually is almost the same size, uh, but this is more of the shape of a pistol. But what I was trying to say is you see this right here where basically you can switch it to single fire, which is one circle, or you can switch it to fully automatic, which is three circles. Um, that is what we have here. So we have three circles here, which means that this blaster is only fully automatic. So it has the off, which is the X, and then it has the fully automatic option on and off right there. Um, so it says right here to put on X for safety. Um, it says two, load it, three, aim it, and four, put, um, put on, okay, put on the three circles, which is automatic, and then five, blast away. So there's your instructions, guys. Um, really cool. It's actually a thick gun. You can see like compared to my hand here how thick this thing is. So pretty dang big and you can see how it fits in my hand here. Fits in my hand pretty nicely. Um, feels like it's just as sturdy. To be honest, I hear something shaking around in there which I don't know if I like that very much. Can you hear that? All right, so I don't know what that is, but let's go ahead and inspect it a little bit further, guys. It has, all right, there's the battery. It comes inside of it, which most of them actually, the battery comes like on the side or something in the package. There's the battery, so that is the battery port. Um, let's see here. It does have a hole right here in the um, handle to drain out any water that you may load in there with your splatter balls let's see oh there it is that's the top right there that's where you're going to load your splatter ball so this actually doesn't have a magazine it's a uh, it's a top load which means it's probably a uh, gravity feed um obviously because if it's on the top so it's going to gravity feed your ammo straight down into the chamber and fire it out and uh so you can see there it has a actual hole where the barrel where the uh, Orbeez come out of and then you have this here which is like a fake a fake hole <laughs> a fake hole I don't know why they do that I guess it's just like they wanted to fill it with more of something so that's kind of weird but uh yeah overall it seems pretty cool um it doesn't really come with much oh there you go it comes with the funnel which uh this funnel if you guys don't know is used to stick in the very top right there and then you're able to just drop your Orbeez in and it has these little slots in it so that the water can drain out as you're loading the Orbeez in. So pretty cool little gel blaster. I just wanted to make a quick unboxing video of this and uh, 
let's go outside, load some ammo up, and just fire this thing really quickly to see how it works. Because honestly, with that shaking sound going on there, I don't know if it if it works at all. Um, but yeah, let, before we go outside and fire this, let's do a uh, size comparison. I already showed you what it looks like compared to the SRB 400. Let's look at it compared to my uh, Desert Eagle that I got off of Amazon. So you can see the size comparison there. Um, Desert Eagle is about maybe uh, a third of the size. You know, maybe two thirds. Yeah, two thirds of the size of this um, SRB 375. Let's look at it compared to the Surge Gel Blaster. The Surge Gel Blaster is a little bit smaller than the Desert Eagle. Just a tad bit. Um, actually from like end to end here, it's probably the same exact size. And so you guys can see like this is a pretty good size pistol blaster. Um, let's see it compared to the AKM-47. We have an AKM-47 here, which is there's the size comparison right there for the AKM-47 and the SRB-375M. Uh, it's about, you know, three quarters of the size of the splatter ball gun. So you can see it's a very bulky, um, big pistol type gun. I don't even know if you would call this a pistol because it's automatic, um, but there are automatic pistols out there in the world. so. Just a very uh, different and uh, odd design, which I kind of like. So there's the unboxing, guys. You got your goggles, you got 2,000 Orbeez, you got your charging cable, and you got some instructions. I actually want to do a full review on this blaster, so right now we're just gonna fire it, see how it works, and then I'm gonna be making a whole nother video. You guys can go ahead and watch that. It should be coming out in a week or two. And I'm going to do a full review on this gel blaster. Put in the comments down below what you want me to compare this gel blaster to. So in the review, I will compare this gel blaster to another gel blaster. So you guys can see the differences um, right there in front of you on video. Before we get into firing this blaster, just make sure to subscribe and hit that like button on this video. And we will see you guys outside.